Welcome back everybody. This is part two for my login and register using shared preferences demo. Uh, so this is the one we have a login screen and you can log in or uh, you can register a new user. So if that was the one you were watching prior then this is the, uh, the second video for that one. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to actually make the registration screen first. So we'll call this register and I guess I'll make the other one too. The other one's going to be called display screen. Alright, so we're going to hop on into register. And begin doing that. I'm just going to copy the on create method over from main activity and plop it in there. Actually, while I have it copied, I'm going to plop it in here too. There we go. And this is going to be the display info, and this one will be uh, register. There we go. Okay. So let's get started. So we're going to have a couple edit texts first of all for the username, uh, password, and email. all variables that we made in the previous in the previous tutorial when I was doing the layouts. So I had text um, new email, okay. And we're also gonna have a button, we'll call it button button register equals button. Um, what was this one? Button new register. Right. Okay. So now we need to set an on-click method for for the uh, register button. So button, oops, button register dot uh, set on-click listen, uh, listener. And so th there's an easy way to do this. You just type new space o n and just click this right here, on-click listener, and Android will do all the work for you. So you don't have to uh, import anything or generate anything. So and now we're going to have to use our shared preferences, and I guess I'll just call it preferences. Get shared preferences. Just call it uh, my pref. Oops. My prefs. Mode private. So um, I made these final so that I can reference them inside of these inside of these methods. Otherwise, it doesn't doesn't let you. So you'll see that these will get highlighted purple. So we're gonna need uh, we need three of these. There's your password, and this one's going to be a uh, new email, and this will be email. Right. Okay, now we need to make an editor so that we can edit our uh, shared preferences. Let's call it editor because there's only going to be one of them. Good. And then after every time you want to add something to shared preference, you, it says you have to commit it. So we have to commit the. Oh, actually, no, no, we don't actually need this. This is this is how I was going to do it before. So we're actually going to change this. 
because we're going to store it all in the same same location, all the data. So it's going to be stored like this. This will be like the key. This is the key to access um, your shared preferences. Add this data tag. You don't actually need the data tag, but you you will for this example. But you could you could leave it out if you if you wanted to. Because the way that this the shared preferences stores stores this string is it's going to store a string and then store a new line. You, you need to have a new line here. It's really hard to store things as arrays with shared preferences. So just for this tutorial, I'm going to do sort of this just this easy example, basically. So when you log, so when you log in, after you log in, it's gonna. It, this is your key, your login key. So it's gonna be specific to your username and your password, and it's gonna print out your username. And on the next line, it will print out your email. So obviously, it would be better to do this with an array, but arrays are really hard to use with shared preferences. Well, they're not really hard to use, but they're harder to use. So this is sort of just a simple example. And after we, after we, after we register, we want to send the user back to the, the um, main screen. So we'll just call it a login screen. It'll be um, register dot this, and we're going to send them to um, main activity. Start activity. There we go. Okay, so now um, the user will be prompted and for a a username, a password, and an email. And then when they click, when they fill those in and they hit the register button, um, the sh shared preferences will save that information. Right, it'll save it right here as your username. And then on the next line, save your email and um, It'll, the key to open this up is going to be your username and your password, which you'll see in uh, main activity. So let's, uh, what do we want to do? We could do, do the display screen, it's pretty easy. Not much to this one. So you need to use shared preferences again. Get shared preferences. And it's, make sure you have to use the same, um, the same name here as you did in the previous activity. So this is just um, this. This probably isn't going to make sense right now to you, but I'll uh, I'll talk about it when we get to the next activity. Shared preferences is not really, I don't know, it's its hard to use unless you use simple cases like this. Uh, I'll probably do some more tutorials on it in the future though. Okay. Okay, so we'll go, going over to main activity now. And we'll start uh, writing the final pieces. Actually, before I forget, we're going to go into the manifest. We're going to add all these, all these into the manifest. Oops. Fuck. All right, only a third one. Here's the register. There we go. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, so we'll get started with the main activity here. So this is going to be the login screen. First of all, we're going to have to make a couple edit texts. Password, 
And then we gotta make a couple buttons for the login button and the register button. Draw a button login. This one was called uh, button login, I think. Yeah. Okay, just copy that. register okay so now we need to make a um, first of all make an all click listener for the login button sure because that came up first and remember just type new and then on and then you can click this builder here and it does everything for you so um, the reason this works inside this on click method is because I declared them as final if you don't declare them as final um, they don't work so that's why I did that. Go. So now we need to do our share preferences. Call them pre preferences. And this needs to be exactly the same as what we called it in the other methods. So we called it my preps and mode private. I've never actually used anything except for private. I don't know uh, when you would not use private. Oops. So now we're going to load. So this, this line right here is about loading the previously stored preferences. <coughs> So remember we store them as this key here. So it's going to be user, the username, password, and the data, all one word. We That's what we're using is the key. And um, if there's nothing stored, this is what's going to print. So it's either the username is incorrect, the password is incorrect, or there's no, there's nothing stored. So we need an editor. This is that thing I was talking about that um, you would understand understand later. So we're we're whoops we're um, opening up the old store preferences and or well an existing one, and then we're storing it in this new shared preferences with the key display. And display if you go over to display screen is the key here for whenever when we want to display something. So every every time somebody hits login, if their if their information exists, it will get loaded and dis and stored in the shared preferences with the key display, and then it will get displayed here. Hopefully that makes sense. And we need an intent to take us to. Fuck. <laughs> oh. Man, so bad at typing. I'm gonna blame it on my new laptop. Okay, so that now that one's done. Uh, we just need to do the oops, log the uh, register button now. So same thing. Uh, set on click listener, and this one just needs, just needs to be an intent to take us to the registration screen. Take us to register our class and start activity. Whoops. Register screen. Okay. I think this actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna run it on my actual device. I don't want to wait for the emulator, but... Okay, so I'll just quickly register something. You can't see it, but I'm just doing it on an actual device over here. And looks like everything's good.
Oh, um, I think there was a mistake actually in in the register register class. This and right here, I think I originally had it as a forward slash, but it needs to be a backslash. So if that's uh, if that's an issue for you, then just make sure you change that. And that should be pretty much everything here. So thanks for uh, thanks for watching.